Hello and welcome back. Good day, as they say here in Australia. It's uh, two o'clock here and so it must be about midnight where you are, so I'm very grateful you took the trouble to join us. As usual, my guests are Jim Smash and Major Duffer. Well, it seems we're having a spot of dodgy satellite trouble here, so while our highly paid technicians run around and sort out the gremlins, Jim, uh, do you have any thoughts about the Australian Open, the first of the Grand Slam tournaments this year? Hmm? Well, uh, Harris, the local, he always does well at home, and uh, I think he can expect some strong support from the fans here. Uh, his opponent, however, has come up through the rankings and has scored some notable victories in uh, Hong Kong and in Barcelona, where the form was devastating. Uh, also uh, in Moscow at the Kremlin Cup and in Frankfurt, uh, where they took the World Tour Championships. Um, I don't expect they'll have much trouble with, with Adam. Uh, I don't see any sort of upset today. Major? Well, I think won. we've sorted out the problem, so we're just in time for the start of the match. Hello and welcome back. Good day, as they say in here in Australia. It's two o'clock here in Australia, and it must be all around midnight your time, so I'm very grateful you took the time and effort to join us. Uh, my guests, as usual, are Jim Smash and Major Duffer. It seems like we're having a little uh, a bit of satellite trouble here. So while our highly trained, highly paid technicians run around and try to sort it out, Jim, what are your thoughts on the... Well, I think we've sorted out that little problem, so let's get down to the match. Well, here we are in London, where players are seated by committee decision. <laughs> and what does our little studio committee uh, think who ranks top? For my money, I would have to rate Charles Chumley. He has all the shots and power. Oh, you can't be serious. Uh, Chumley's only in this tournament as a wild card, where his opponent's been beating top-seeded players all year. You cannot underestimate Charles Chumley's strength of character plus the fact that it is an extremely partisan crowd. All right, all right, all right. You, you do have to give something to the fact that the crowd is British. God knows they've been waiting long enough to get a challenger in the final. Uh, Major, did you ever challenge for an English Open title? Yes, indeed. Now, in my day... Oh, I'm was... sorry to interrupt you there, but uh, we just learned that the players are going out to the center court to be presented to the Royal Box. So let's go down and check out the action. Proof that the Major once was a top seed in his day. But from our little committee, we can find no agreement on who ranks top. So let's go down and join the action in center court down there among the strawberries and cream. Affordable even for you, Major. <laughs> Welcome to London, where today's tennis has been as good as the weather, which has been near perfect all week. So. What do you think back on the old turf, Major, huh? Well, London's always been a favorite of mine. Grass courts are so much nicer. And there's more interesting possibilities. Nowadays, it's training on hard courts and inside. I'm afraid I actually have to agree with the Major on this. Well, on that unusual note of harmony, let's go join the action. Welcome back. Once again, it's London time. And for once, we have two unseated players in the final and an awful lot of British interest in this one. Jim, Britain as a tennis power ain't what it used to be, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no it is not. I think Chumley's been very lucky to get into the final here. You may mock, but his backhand with a full follow through was a model of perfection. Unlike your own. <laughs> uh, the match is about to begin, so let's join it, huh? On behalf of all the comic personalities here at Extreme Tennis, and I do include Major Duffer and Smash and Jim Smash in that, and yours truly, Cedric Lamar. We'll see you the next time. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Hello 
and welcome to today's match on Extreme Tennis. Joining me will be Major Duffer and Jim Smash right after these messages. Hello, well it's finals time again and down on the center court we have the top seeds about to begin their match. Joining me up here in the studio is Major Duffer and Jim Smash and we'll be talking to them just after these messages. Hello and welcome to today's match on Extreme Tennis. Major Duffer and Jim Smash will be joining me shortly right after these messages. Hello and welcome to today's match on Extreme Tennis. I'll be joined by Major Duffer and Smashing Jim Smash right after these brief messages. Well, I mean, she wasn't that bad. I mean, after all, she had a... Oh, <clears throat> hello and welcome to Extreme Tennis is the name and Extreme Tennis is the game. I'll be joined by Major Duffer and Jim Smash right after this break. Thanks, fellas. Hello, you join us once again live on Extreme Tennis. I'll be joined by Major Duffer and Jim Smash right after this break. Hi, once again you find us in eager anticipation of another great day's match. I'll be discussing it with my guests right after this. Welcome back as you join us minutes before the conclusion of what purports to be a suitable climax to what has been a quite remarkable season. That's right. Uh, say, what is your name anyway? Well, it's Cedric, actually, but uh, shall we get back to the more important matter, which is the match at hand? Pete Sampras, the reigning champion, is down there on center court facing a tough opponent who is looking just to win this match to become the first person to ever win all four Grand Slam tournaments since, well, since a long time ago. It looks to be a legendary battle between the world number one and reigning U.S. champion and the player everyone has had to beat this year, with seven championships alone under his belt just for this year. Jim, Major, if you were betting guys, who would your money be on? I'd have to say Pete. Uh, his opponent's luck has to change, and he's facing his stiffest competition uh, with Pete Sampras's awesome power. Well, as you know, the British always stick up for the underdog. And after a long and bitter struggle, at the end of the day, there will be a new champ. Well, let's find out, shall we? We join the match just as the players are coming out of the tunnel to a rousing cheer.